everyone, my name is Mikhail Graham and I am here representing Heli Direct and today I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of Spectrum Smart Telemetry capabilities. So up until recent years, um, getting information from your aircraft was something that many of us desired, especially electric, you know, knowing the state of your battery and just temperatures of things, really important information that you would like to have, but just wasn't able to get it easily. And you know, that's changing. And so the Spectrum Smart Telemetry capabilities actually brings a lot of that together in a very simple plug and play solution. I'm gonna show you what that looks like just in just a second. But what type of telemetry information are we talking here? So we are talking, you know, temperature of your ESC, temperature of the BEC inside the ESC, um, voltage, amperage, RPMs. Um, if you're using a smart battery in line with the smart ESC, um, you get the number of cycles of your batteries, uh, cell balance, temperature, even down to the individual voltages of your batteries. And so. When you bring it all together, you actually get a nice system that brings you a wealth of information right at your fingertips. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So to do that, what I have here is a brand new Kraken S700 Kyle Stacy edition. Um, if any of you guys know me, uh, know anything about me, you know that I love three blade helicopters. Um, just got a brand new one. Um, haven't flown this one yet, but I have flown this helicopter. Absolutely love it. Um, and so, got it fully decked out with Spectrum equipment. The only thing that is not Spectrum is the uh, Xnova Tariq 50XX motor. Um, love this motor, love Xnova motors. Um, great power, it's perfect for three blades, highly recommend. So, what do I have here? So, at the heart of it, we have the Spectrum 6250. This is uh, Spectrum's in-house flyerless system. Uh, that ties in all of the smart telemetry capabilities. In order to get smart telemetry capabilities, you do need to be using a Spectrum receiver. In addition to the receiver, we have Spectrum cyclic servos and a Spectrum tail servo. Um, up front, we have the AVN 200 amp ESC. Now, as many of you may know, this is not yet available. Uh, this is a pre-production sample. Um, I am a member of Team Horizon and every now and then I do test new equipment. So I've been testing this ESC for a few months now. Works great. Um, it's coming. Can't say when yet, but it is on the way. Uh, in addition to the speed controller, I also have a smart battery. This is a Spectrum 12S 100C pack. Again, not yet available, but it is coming. Again, can't say when, but it is on the way. And of course, to tie it all together, I have my iX20. So, now that we have everything here, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I'm gonna show you to do is how to bind um, the 6250, because um, there's a bit of a process using the uh, SRXL2 receiver that I have installed right here. All right, so. First thing we're going to do is make sure that your smart ESC is plugged into port 2. Not port 1, port 2. In order to get the smart features, the smart ESC has to be in, plugged into port 2. So the first thing I'm going to do, because this aircraft is already bound, but I want to show you guys the process. I'm going to unplug the SRXL2 receiver. And I have a second receiver, a satellite, your typical satellite receiver on the other side over here. Plug in a bind plug into the bind port. And now what I'm going to do is power up the aircraft. And now my satellite, second satellite, is in bind mode. And so I'm going to plug, unplug this fan just for some noise. Uh, pull out the bind plug. And now I'm going to plug in the SRXL2 receiver. And then I'm going to press the button on this receiver. Now, let me see if I can show you. All right, so now we have both receivers in bind mode. All right, we're in bind mode, and now we're going to do hit bind. I like to have telemetry auto config on, and we're going to press and hold bind. bind. Bind complete. The 
TSMX 11 milliseconds. Telemetry. Gonna let this complete its process. Battery not charged for flying. And already we're start, starting to get some telemetry information. But let's go through the screens here. So you have your typical monitor. Your telemetry. This is your telemetry for... Uh, Battery not charged for flying. Alright, I'm going to turn the sound off because that's going to keep screaming at us. Alright, so this tells us our voltage, uh, flight log, flame, frame loss. Um, I'll do another video that this is actually really important information, but we'll do another video about that another time. This is your typical uh, smart screen. I have my battery voltage, my ESC FET temperature, my current, and battery percentage 20 percent and you got some other screens that you can set up here so not this isn't set up uh let's see we'll come back to that in a second uh again this is the information that we saw from before your telemetry this tells you a little bit more about your, your satellites and your signal strength um, minus 17 decibels min and max voltage uh voltage rpms um a lot of information here ESC status, this tells you your RPM, throttle percentage, amperage, BEC temperature, voltage output, percent throttle output, FET temperature, and your voltages. And now we also have our individual battery. So this is a 12 us pack with two packs. And so we have our first pack here. This tells us our uh, min and max voltages, um, temperature of the pack, discharge current, um, Imbalance number of cycles as you guys see I've been flying this battery a lot total imbalance 0 0.02 not bad and of course Individual cell voltages All right, and then out back here. We have the avian to program the avian ESC so but let's go back We see this is not set up yet, so what we're going to do we're going to go into model setup telemetry Smart ESC. Now here you can set your alarms, uh, low voltage alarm per cell, um, max current, motor, all of this stuff. But most importantly, in order to get RPM, we need to tell it the number of poles. This has number of poles is 10 for this motor. And the gear ratio is 10.4. Hit save. And let's go back up here. See what we get here and now let's see press and hold setup so now we need to decide what do I want to show let's show motor ply there we go motor rpm so it's not actually motor rpm this will be your head speed but now we have the setup let's go to the bigger screen and I actually wanted that over here I must have pressed the wrong button oh well but that information is available. So now let me go. All right. So now we got everything set up. Um, I moved that menu a little bit. So now let's go ahead and start the motor. Let's see what we get. So let's give it a little throttle. So we see our PM. All of that information. But we got a problem. So it looks like, even though I'm getting all the telemetry, it looks like my motor is backwards. But no matter. Let me show you how you can fix that. Alright, so we saw had a slight problem. Motor was spinning backwards. But my wires are cinched down. I really don't want to mess with them. And that's no problem. We can fix that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to slide all the way over here to this menu called Avian Program. And we'll zoom in here so you can see a little bit of the instructions. So let's follow those instructions. So we have low throttle, up elevator, left aileron. And we hold. Now it says right aileron. And boom, look at that. Now we are in the menu. So we are on brake type. Brake force, 
cutoff type lipo cells autocalc and as you can see I'm using this cyclic stick to cycle through the menus BEC voltage startup time and let's see timing motor rotate that's what I want I'm going to aileron clockwise good to go governor gain go all the way down to the bottom exit with save I'm gonna move the aileron right kicks me out the menu all right we heard those beeps that lets us know the motor is good to go we're gonna go back to our smart menu so now let's give it a little throttle there we go as you can see RPM let's have a look at the screen and now let's look at our flight logs min max max RPM temperature all of this are at your fingertips and you can set up your alerts for everything um, little piece of information when you're doing the avian program you have to do that at boot up um, I didn't say that before so need to reprogram your ESC you need to cycle the power then go through the menu all right all right guys so that's how you set up your spectrum system for telemetry as you can see it's really straightforward um, it's really easy to do it takes less than five minutes and you have a wealth of information um, in addition you can also set up alerts on any of the any of the parameters uh, telemetry information that you saw on the screens um, we also showed you that you can program your speed controller from the radio and of course you can program the 6250 from your radio as well um, I'm a huge fan of all of this stuff I like how easy and straightforward it is to use I love the information and the full integration of everything all from the radio like being able to do that with minimal fuss as you saw it takes less than five minutes to do um, I really really like this so uh, if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below I will do my best to answer um, in the meantime I am going to throw some blades on this thing and go do the maiden so thanks for guys thanks guys for watching and happy flying